Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, happy holidays! My name is Natalie and in today's video I've come up with three embroidery designs for snowflakes. This is something cute you can enjoy making, it's really satisfying and meditative. In this video I'm going to show you how to stitch embroidery designs on felt and turn them into Christmas ornaments. So grab a cup of tea and let's get started! You can download the PDF with this embroidery design for free by the link in the video description. By the way, I have some snowflakes on my nails too. It's a tradition all of you to have a matching nails design with my embroidery projects. Do you like it? Okay, back to the snowflakes ornaments. You are going to need the following materials. The red felt and water erasable stabilizer, white embroidery threads, embroidery scissors with sharp points, beads and sequins. I chose those white beads and white sequins. I have also this pink option, it's also going to be look cute. And also you are going to need embroidery needle. I use size 3 or 4, which is suitable for 3 strands of floss. Um, it has a big eye and sharp point. I transfer my pattern using water erasable stabilizer. Uh, so I'm tracing the pattern by hand and use my iPad like uh, light swords. I turned off the touch function using the guided axis on iPad, so I'm able to transfer my patterns without any uh, issues with the touch screen. If you have access to other options like magic paper from TMC or silky stick and stitch or silky paper solvi stabilizers, so go get it. I left the links where you can find them in the video description. It's going to be easier for you because you are going to be able to print the designs right on the stabilizer using your printer, so they are printable and also sticky. It's basically like a large sticker that you can print design onto and stick onto your fabric. Turning off the guided access mode. And I'm ready for stitching. I place it felt with stabilizer in the 4 inch hoop and then placing the hoop into my new hoop stand. I'm very excited to try it because this is a new stand that can do this. It can turn the hoop so I have access to the back side to finish my threads. This is so comfortable. If you want to get such a hoop stand for yourself, there is going to be a link in the video description as well. I use three strands of floss. Uh, you can use four strands or six strands, it's totally up to you. And I use only few simple stitches like satin stitch, back stitch, lazy daisies and I would recommend to stitch everything except beading first and only then to add beads and sequins uh, because this way your threads won't be tackled in the beads during stitching so I just figured out after I've done the first snowflake so I hope knowing this you will not have any issues you will find all the guides and illustrations for stitching all three snowflakes in your PDF pattern. 
Also, you can get access to this and more than 30 embroidery designs, exclusive video tutorials and educational articles on Patreon, up on Stitching Club tier, the link in the description below. And my snowflake is ready for cutting and washing now. I'm taking out the hoop and carefully cutting the felt, following the lines. You are going to have those lines in your pattern, so transfer them right away. Um, I just didn't have them from the beginning, I just figured out that you might need them later in the process. I'm washing away stabilizer under warm water, carefully massaging the felt and making sure that stabilizer disappeared from all the places. I found out that felt very well behaves during washing, it uh, didn't change the shape, uh, didn't torn and didn't become fluffy. It's probably the best way to transfer the patterns for this kind of material. Now when two parts of my snowflake are dry, I can sew them together. I'm going to add some sparkling beads to decorate the edges. I'm going to use one strand of red floss and millennial needle. It has a small eye and thin enough to go through my beads. I'm putting one bead at a time and seal the edges using blanket stitch. I make teeny short stitches, they are going to be hardly noticeable because I use the same thread color as the felt color is. I filled my snowflakes with the threads left from my projects. I was storing them in this jar. Now it's time to use them. Last year I was filling my pin cushions with thread ends. It's a great way to give them a second life. I never throw them away. What do you do with your thread ends? Please let me know in the comments. I heard that some people pull them out by the tree in the backyard. Birds use them to put in nests, mixing them with twigs and grass that makes pretty colorful nests. But I've also heard of several people finding birds strangled from embroidery threads, so I definitely wouldn't recommend this. I'm finishing this thread using a loop and hiding the ends between the layers of felt. The last thing left to make is a loop for hanging it on our Christmas tree. I'm using Silwell metallic threads from DMC Diamond Grande.
And the snowflake is done! I really love how they turned out, they are looking so pretty and sparkling. Those Christmas ornaments are going to be a great addition to your Christmas tree decoration and you will enjoy seeing them all season long. Also those hand embroidered ornaments can make a very special gifts. I know your friends and family are going to love to receive. That's it, thank you so much for watching and see you next time, bye! Subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell.